They were the subject of a flurry of complaints early on, but the uproar has died down lately. Now the city of Kelowna wants your feedback on its e-scooter pilot program. Uh, so what we're doing right now is we're taking a look at how this first year's gone. Uh, we're doing a, a full program evaluation, and as part of that, it's really important to us to hear from everyone, uh, from the entire community, whether you ride a shared e-scooter or, or haven't uh, over this experience. We want to know uh, what your thoughts are. So we've been hearing from the community um, since the program launched in mid-April um, about ideas and feedback for how they'd like to see the program improved. Uh, and we've been making steady improvements on an ongoing basis. And recently, in the last several weeks, we've been hearing far fewer uh, concerns from people. Roll hopes to operate right through the winter and has been adjusting for the changing seasons. Um, we, we have the same level of uh, employees and same level of scooters, but we are ch doing some changes in terms of our deployment uh, strategies. For example, we're focusing on more uh, school communities because we know that uh, there's some in-person activity in Okanagan College, UPC. So we are strategically uh, deploying more scooters in those areas. Uh, we also expanded our service area in Rutland again. So there's uh, you know more uh, commuter uh, trips that we're seeing in that area, and we're deploying more scooters in those areas, Rutland, um, Lower Mission, and uh, different areas. Both Roll and Lime plan to apply to be part of the second year of the pilot program, and the city wants your input before that moves ahead. Uh, we're eager to hear what you think and get to go to Get Involved Kelowna by November 7th. In Kelowna, Cindy White, Castanet.